Hi guys, my name is Tanvin Tanato and welcome back to another episode of Redemption Stories, a channel that explores God's story within the stories around us. So this is the channel where we look at movies, books, stories that echo God's redemption story. In this episode, we are going to look at the movie The Iron Giant. What are we looking at here, Mr. Manley? This is no meteor. This is something much more serious. Invaders from Mars. Hey there, Scout. Chip Manley. You work for the government. I have something for you. Where did you find that? Up at the power station. Hogarth was out there the other night. Really? See anything unusual, Hogarth? No thing unusual, really. So, I guess you're not gonna hurt me, huh? My own giant robot, I am the luckiest kid in America! Where'd he come from? He doesn't remember. He's like a little kid. Little, yeah. <laughs> Sunday! Every hero of Sputnik is like that giant thing in the woods. We don't know what it can do. What are you talking about? You think this metal man is fun, but who built it? The Russians, the Chinese, Martians? Canadians, I don't care! You are going to tell me about this thing, and we are going to destroy it before it destroys us! We gotta show them you're good. You are what you choose to be. I'm Superman. We must stop it at all costs. Let's get out of here! Run! Ready the attack? My son is out there! We've got to help it! Hogarth, no! I'm swimming! Giant? Hogarth. The Iron Giant is a 1999 animated movie directed by Brad Bird. This is the story of a nine-year-old boy named Hogarth Hughes who makes friends with an innocent alien giant robot that came from outer space. Meanwhile, a paranoid US government agent named Ken Mensley arrives into town, determined to destroy the giant at all costs. Throughout the movie, we don't know where the, giant, the Iron Giant came from. We don't know his name, we don't know his origin, his purpose, and why he's here on Earth. We don't even know what he is. The Iron Giant himself doesn't know who he is until he meets Hogart the boy and becomes his best friend. When he's around Hogart, um, he's this gentle giant that's playful and likes to spend with his new best friend and likes to explore. Um, but it doesn't stop the US military wanting to destroy the Iron Giant because they see him as a threat. Well, the main theme of this movie is identity. The Iron Giant doesn't know who he is. While Hogarth believes that he is an angel, the US military believes he's a weapon. Seeing this identity crisis within the Iron Giant, Hogarth tells him, you are what you choose to be. Well, isn't that the message for the 21st century? We are what we choose to be? It sounds nice, but the Bible actually explains our identity the other way around. Instead of our identity is being shaped by our choice, we are who we choose to be. But the Bible says we choose because who we are. Romans 3 verse 10 says, No one is righteous, not even one. No one is truly wise. No one is seeking God. All have turned away. All have become useless. No one does good. Not a single one. Because we are not righteous, that's why we don't do good things. We sin because we are sinners. We don't become sinners because we sin. So whatever we do, whatever we choose, comes from our inner nature as a sinner. Our choice doesn't determine who we are, but our choice comes from who we really are. And this is made evident later in the movie. 
towards the end of the movie, the military stages this huge operation to destroy the Iron Giant. So they start shooting and throwing bombs at him. It is, it is he that the Iron Giant reveals who he really is, who really is. So he pulls out his guns that he didn't know he had and starts shooting back. So he becomes this, this, this monster. So the true nature of the Iron Giant is revealed. He is a weapon after all. But the movie doesn't end there. This is the redemption aspect of that movie. Although the Iron Giant finally finds out that he is a weapon, he doesn't stay as a weapon. In a moment of desperation, the military fires a missile aimed towards the town, which will not only destroy the giant, but everyone in that town. Then Hogarth tells the giant about the fate of the town, and the giant says, I am not a gun, and then flies off to intercept the missile and destroying himself in the process. So the Iron Giant saved the town by sacrificing himself. The Iron Giant was changed from a weapon to a savior through his sacrifice. You know, our sinful nature can also be changed through a sacrifice, but not our own. It is through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. 2 Corinthians 5 says, Jesus died for all, so that they who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose again on their behalf. And Paul continues, God made Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin on our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. Our identity is transformed by Jesus' death. Once we were sinners, but Jesus became sin for us, so we can be righteous in front of God. I love this movie. It's a great movie to watch uh, with your kids and maybe have a discussion about identity at the end. You know, we don't have to be conformed to our sinful nature, that we can be transformed through a sacrifice, through Iron Giant sacrifice. So hopefully, um, I hope you enjoy this episode. Please subscribe, uh, like, or comment. And put a comment if, if you think, uh, you know, what kind of movie that you want me to, re- to explore next. So hopefully we can enjoy um, other redemption stories in other movies. All right. So God bless and may Jesus be king in your life.